Yo, welcome Frony. So today I'm going to show you how you can get your purple level 50 weapon with 100% success chance if you have been unlucky with your loot. To do so, we will have to go to Stone Guard Castle to the senior weapon crafter. You will then have to choose your weapon. For me, that would be the crossbow that I was too unlucky to drop. And then you will see here the dimensional essence salvation. If you click on that, you will see that if you farm 20 pieces of each dungeon, you will get two and you can craft the bow. In theory, that would mean you would have to farm 120 tokens. At the moment, there's one event going on. So if you're going into the battle pass, you will realize that you will have those dimensional soul charge selection chests. This will give you about 40. So you would only have to get 80 tokens. And statistically, it's better to go and try to farm those tokens to get your weapon crafted 100% guaranteed rather than trying to only farm the dungeon that has your weapon and hoping for a drop. And then when you are opening those boxes, you want to make sure that you're opening it for the right dungeon. So the way you will be running the dungeons is you will check the dungeons, which are the ones that drop lots of decent loot for you. So either the dungeon has lots of value for you personal, or it has a really high lucent value. And you will check out which dungeon supply. So four out of the six with the highest value you will farm and the dungeons with the lowest value there you will get the tokens out of the box. That way you are always making sure that the runs that you're doing have the highest loosened per run value. Sorry to interrupt, but short self-promotion is needed. Currently, 91.2% of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So let's make a deal. If you learn something new in this video, you have to subscribe. And now you see we have Carnix, Turex Shimmerus, Duke Magna, Licurius, and Tuplek. So what we need is Shekhar. So we're going to open 20 boxes of Shekhar. And now when we are going to Crossbow, Rex Ramirez, Essence Salvation, we can craft two pieces. And therefore now our bow. And now let's pray to the RNG God that we are not getting a dog shit trade. So let's hover over it. And heavy attack chance, best trade. Holy shit, yes. That's the way to go. Because now check the auction house and see how much worth that trade at the moment is. Here, 1,900 Lucent. RNG God, as always, you are a pleasure to work with. And now the best part, let's go to the storage. See, I already have a have purple heavy attack weapon chance and I can trade that now right away. And we also dropped a bunch of other heavy attack ones. So I think as a little bonus on the video, we're going to do an upgrade and just pump all of them in there. Okay, let's go. Let's see how lucky we are. Okay, sadly no other one, but having heavy attack chance in general is already really nice. And now we still need to upgrade it. That means we have to first unequip our weapon. Otherwise it will not be able to register as a transfer. And um, we do not want to put it in there right away. We do want to level it up first to level 7. Don't worry, we are still having enough stacks. This process here right now is also what I saved all of my resources for regarding the Solent. As you can see, those are all the ones 
from the um, from the contract and we do want to craft all of them and that costs a bunch of solon here two mil and no great success holy shit 274 no great success that's horrible horrible 3.6 Okay, so let's see if that's enough funds to get it to seven. Oh, that was a good one. Bad one, bad one. Okay, we got it to seven. And we are one drone short. So now we're doing the transfer. And now if everything is going as planned, we are doing we are pressing the button once and we are getting our upgrade. And bam. Level 9. And this is now our weapon. Looking pretty juicy. And you can see right here, it also instantly gave us the new um, Dex threshold. Okay guys, this was it. You know now how to craft your weapon, how to make sure that if the RNG God is not in your favor, how to beat him. If you still have any questions, let me know in the comments. As always, I will try to answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers guys.